Hello, everybody. Welcome to the webinar. Um, this will be a short training on conference calling um, for interpreters specifically. We did a um, we did a release uh, webinar last week for language companies, but this one is specifically for interpreters. Um, you know, I just want to give them a special kind of look into how this is going to affect um, your assignments day to day. So let's get started. It, as I said, it's going to be very quick. I'm just going to go through the, the new features, and then uh, I'll take a few questions. Um, OK, so I'm going to share my screen with you guys. <clears throat> All righty. So, um, this is a view of the application, web application. Conference calling is only going to be available uh, for interpreters via web in this release, which is actually going to be uh, early next week. So this is not going to be available today. But that said, I wanted to get started on the training for you guys so that you're um, you know, enabled to be able to take these conference calls as quickly as, as possible. Um, Alrighty, so this is the view of um, of the the Boostlingo app from the view of a language company or client. In this case, it's a clinic, Caroline's Clinic. Um, and here's my caller. If you guys aren't aware, you go here and click on the microphone. It opens up your caller. And then obviously here, we're going to go and request the language pair we were um, needing. Uh, if there's a specialized type, we put in what specialized type that would be. And conference calling is just for audio. So um, we just have audio there. And then, <clears throat> sorry, the view that you're going to be seeing as an interpreter, this looks familiar, I'm sure. Uh, this is your caller. Same process for opening it. You go to the microphone symbol, um, app or web, and then you click in the center to go online, same to go offline. Um, so what we're going to do is place a call, and I'll show you how the conference calling feature works. So this is me as a, as a clinic a client. So here we go, calling. Um, and then it goes here to the interpreter, me as an interpreter. Click to answer, just like um, any other call. So you can see that I answered it. And then to do a conference call, you click this little plus symbol. And then you will be instructed to put the number in. So we're going to do my cell phone. And then you press this button to place the call to the third party. So it's dialing, as you can see. And I'm going to answer it here, my cell phone. And you can see it connected. Um, so I'm just going to speak into the cell phone. I know it might be kind of hard to tell um, from this viewpoint, but that's how it works. For now, what I'm going to do is show you that you can mute the third caller. And then you can also hang up and go back to just with the requester. So let's go ahead and do that so you can see that. So now I'm now I'm on again just with the requester. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hang up here, and then um, another interesting thing is so usually when you end a call you see this rate your experience, um, but this part is has been added so you can see the third party number and the duration that it was with the third party. So the duration of the call in total was an, was a minute and ten seconds. But the duration with the third party was 28 seconds. Um, so it kind of gives you some insight into um, that information. And then also, as an interpreter, we can go into your logs here and see that exact same thing. So you see the third party information, um, the same information you would see um, in, in any case, but you see how long you're on you're connected with a third party and then the duration of the call um so that's the basic setup and and procedure for answering conference calling um right now i'm going to take any questions you guys might have so if there are any questions please feel free um 
to write in the question panel and I'd be happy to answer them. If there aren't any questions, like I said, this is going to be a you know very short training. It's it's literally five minutes kind of to learn how to do it. Um, that said, though, if if uh, anyone has any questions moving forward when they are starting to use the technology, um, actually, and as it's live, um, the best way to get quick support if there's an issue is always support at boostlingo.com, and also always feel.